Hey everyone, this is Anson Sivis from Techcon Private Limited. So today I'm going to talk about how do we copy the objects from one object to another multiple objects. So for that I have created a new model and placed five columns. Here is the five columns and five path portings. I'm going to create a section view. To show it clearly, so here is the five columns and the five pad footings below that. You can notice that these columns have same top level and different bottom orals. So I am going to show you why I placed these different levels. So I am going to create a new steel beam. You can see I have created the beam from 500 from the top. Okay, and I'm going to build this small beam to the column and make it as a assembly. You can see when I'm when I want to copy this beam from the source object to these objects. Normally, what we do is select the object and right click and then copy special and to another object so it asks the user to pick the source object i am going to pick the source object and then pick every destination objects because it asks the user to pick the destination objects so i did it and it copied successfully and every thing is in assembly this is one instance i am going to undo this so another one tool which helps us to copy in a single click so like uh, when i select this beam and going to application and components and search for a copy multi copy to another object multiple this tool is available from tecla in 2022 uh, i think uh, 2021 earlier versions i don't know so when I double click and run this component, Tecla asks the user to select the objects before copy. So I am going to select the object and then double click the component and run. So it asks the user to select the source object. I am going to select the source object. Instead of picking every single destination object, I am going to drag select and multiply select the destination column and pressing the middle mouse button to finish the comment now it's gonna copy every object to the destination object check the height of the beam from the column so it is 4500 from bottom to top you can see that while I measure yeah so now I am going to undo the process for some instances we have to keep the top value unchanged to every object like uh, providing an end plate to a column like that so for in this instance we have developed a new tool we as techcon developed a new tool so which called copy multiple techcon so i am going to run this command and it will show you show an form which has two options one is start handle to start handle copy and another one is end handle to end handle copy start handle to start handle copy is neither but like uh, i have to select the objects before copy and click the copy selected objects so then pick the source object and selecting multiple destination objects and it's gonna copy it's like the same as the previous this to copy to another multiple objects so here's the new thing 
So when I select the end handle to end handle copy, it's gonna act different. I have to select the object first and then copy selected objects, then pick source object. Now I'm going to drag select the destination objects and then press middle mouse button to complete the task and you are gonna see the difference. You can see that right. So the distance from the top for every column will be maintained throughout the command. You can see the difference right. So this is the new thing we added and we use this often. So I want to share this with you. So thank you for watching. Read the blog which is provided in the link. So thank you for watching. Have a good day.